Yeah, look, that's quite an engine, eh? Wow, man. Look at that. It's all very much compressed. Very small, you know. If you compare it, it's Kanye. If you compare this with a, like an American truck, you know, they've got a very long, you know, if you want to make a turn, it's very, very long. Some truck drivers, all, one time they explained that to me. You know, and in Europe, you can't have any American lorries, you know, because it's, the turn is too long, you know, because the wheelbase is too long. This is much shorter, it's very much more advanced of the V8 or whatever, you know, you don't need the V8. You know, you see the wheelbase of this one here, it's quite short, you know, from here to here. If you've got an American truck, you know, it's the engine is all up front, you got another three meters, you know, before that. So you mean that means you make an enormous, enormous circle if you want to make a U-turn. Okay, so it won't work out in Europe, you know. It's not, it's the American lorries are not very much advanced actually. This is far more much advanced, you know. You get the engines, the engine below the driver instead of all up front. It looks really impressive, the American lorries and the Australian ones. They won't work out. Couldn't even go to bloody Mexico, you could, eh? And have a U turn. So I've been walking here for hours and only English people take me up hitchhiking, eh? Hey? Yeah. We stick together, don't we? Yeah, sure we do. <laughs> Same king, you see, effectively. Same king? Kin. K-I-N. K-I-N, yeah. 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 Kith and kin and all so, that. So they are hitchhikers as well, the girlies here? No, no, no I'm his wife. <laughs> oh. And this is my sister. All right. She's visiting. We live here, me and mine. <laughs> and then my sister's visiting for 12 I've nights. I've only turned okay. up today. She's, uh, we just picked her up from Bergerac. Yeah. Mate, you said you would, they were hitchhikers. I, I know. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> so, so are we going to see ourselves on Netflix then? Is that the idea here? Uh, YouTube. <laughs> oh, that's fair enough. Okay, YouTube. I'm going to take one Yeah, in Belfort. Oh, look. We're all slaves, eh? That's what it means, eh? And here it says, in memory of the executed and the martyrs of the resistance during World War II. So the ones who executed the people, you know, were behind it all, the Freemasons, the Templars, the aristocracy, they made this symbol here. Eh? Why do you think then the barracks here, it's like a pyramid, eh? The old barracks. Here in Belfort. And the symbol is a lion. Never had any lions. Now look, it says Révolution Française, the French Revolution. And uh, who made the French Revolution? Well, these guys here, right? the Templars. And there are four parts in this pyramid. You know, because uh, four is the uh, is the square. The concept of four. And there are like eight triangles on each side, eh? And uh, eight for octagon, Templars. And a triangle is a concept of three. Because there are three sides on it or three corners. And three plus seven altogether, it may, uh, three plus four, it makes uh, seven. And uh, now they think about everything, eh? Look at that. Yeah. Uh, why a pyramid in, in Europe, eh? Started with the Romans. Well, it started first, they sent the, the magicians all over. You know, the pharaohs. Or even Germanic tribes like the... Uh, uh, the Sueba, they were uh, adoring Isis. You know, you know to, to fuck up people's brain with religion and... These sort of things, yeah. Pyramid, eh? Pharaohs. It's all here, you know. Obelisks on top. Here yeah, in Belfort. Bel, it means beautiful, and four, it means strong. Strong and nice. Nicely strong, or whatever. Yeah. Bloody Pharaohs. We'll get you, eh? We'll get you. And it's blue for the wool collar. Look at that. It's a bit, it's a bit worn off. It used to be blue. You see that? See? It is a war. No, they're waging a war on us. 
Oh, look at the bloody line, eh? The French protesting behind it. General Electric. Who was that general, eh? What war was he in? General Electric. The Electric General. Weird thing, eh? Octagon. Guess who made the lion, eh? And this bloke was in Egypt. Bartholdi! The guy from the Statue of Liberty. He made it. It's all pyramids, statues, all pharaonic shit all over, eh? Bartholdi, I'll give you a better pick. It's behind the tree. There you go. Bartholdi, the guy from the Statue of Liberty, he made the lion. Which is a symbol of the pharaonic dignity. So Isis, lion, well, we got the whole stuff, eh? Yeah. Pharaonic flag. And here's a prison. <laughs> a bloody prison, eh? Put Sean Ross in here. Oh, it says Ville de Belfort, next to Switzerland, people, the bloody Sphinx in there. Oh. The symbol of the aristocracy. So I'm just crashing here, not under a roof because it's raining. Hey, you see that? I'm in my sandals and so I was just looking around, you know, what I see. Look at this, you know, Horus. In French you don't say the H, you know, you don't pronounce it. So, I mean, why, why write it if you don't even have to pronounce it? You know, with the all-seeing eye, that's the eye of Horus. With like, with the sun in the middle here, you know. Immobilier, that means uh, real estate. That means, you know, you, you slave or to sell. You can, they're selling an apartment here for the slaves, you know. Yeah, look at that. And at the end of your life, you have to pay for it. Then they're going to lower the, uh, you know, the, the banking, uh, uh, where, you, where you're lending the money. And, or, or make it higher so you can't pay it back. They take away your... your your lovely apartment for the slave, eh? Yeah. So, um, we usually, you know, real estate, they rent it. You know, it's for them, you know, our masters. It all belongs to our masters. Even if you buy it, you know, they'll get it back from you, you know. At least at the end of your life, they say, you know, you can't give it to your children. Because you have to pay 60% taxes over it. Your children can't buy it. And then they sell it on an auction for a cheap price among themselves. This is how it works, eh? We are their slaves. Here, look, the all-seeing eye. Just like on the dollar. And it's the Horus eye. Do you really think, you know, that they, they just put it there, you know? Like, that there are no people, like, who are into these clubs. And that pharaohs are not here. I mean, you can see it everywhere. You really believe they're not here. It doesn't all belong to them. You know, it's not the slave, eh, putting this up like Horus in the all-seeing eye. Eh? Why the all-seeing eye? You know, it's like Odin. You know, he, he, he sold one of his eyes, you know, for knowledge and power. Uh, you have to give something back, you know, like to the devil. And, uh, and apparently Horus, he had a fight with Seth. But, uh, I think the Odin history is more realistic, you know, concerning the all-seeing eye. It's always the all-seeing eye, eh? Uh, this is me. 
the all-seeing me, the all-seeing I. <laughs> it's bloody raining, eh? Not very much, but it's, it rains and it stops and it's, you know, August. Should be hot. You know, in fact, Odin is the all-seeing eye because he traded his eye for knowledge and for two ravens and these with these ravens they you could send them all over the world you know, like using demons with which he can see all over the world so with his eye he traded he could see all over the world the all-seeing eye odin yeah starts with an o as well Horus, Odin, and anyway, you know, there, are, there were Germanic tribes like the uh, Sweben, uh, Tacitus, he told so, you know, like, what was it, 100 after, yeah, uh, what was it before Christ? Well, anyway, uh, Horus, uh, Tacitus, he said that the Sweben, some Germanic tribes, they uh, worshipped Isis. This is what I've been telling you. The pharaohs, they sent first their kings and their queens and their aristocracy and their wizards, you know, with a religion and, you know, believe me, and we make you some magic tricks, so believe me, you know, um, all over the world. So people believe them, even the Germanic tribes, apparently, and also the Celts, you know, the Druids. They only attacked when, when the wizard woman, you know, the priestess said, okay, now it's good. And these were pharaohs and they just let them into a trap. Right? Only when the vandals, you know, they hadn't, didn't have any other choice really, because they were attacked by the Huns. And they, 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 they were standing with their back against the wall, so they just had to fight for it. Right? They didn't even listen anymore to the priestesses, just, you know, to stand up or die. It's like the situation we're in now, you know, stand up or die, eh? You want to die on your knees or you want to die standing up, eh? This all-seeing eye gang all over the world. Damn pharaohs. Why don't you stay at home, eh? What are you doing here? Get out of our forests. You were talking about women, you know, what we say in South Africa. Fine creatures. It, yeah, oh, in South Africa we say a woman, she laughs when she can. No, she cries when she can and she laughs. Um, Think about I'm sorry, I've been drinking too much. Um, yeah, but she, it's only sangria, she, that's only fucking 5%, isn't it? Yeah, well. <laughs> Do us a favour. It was little. like. Come she, on. Martin. <laughs> you had a couple of beers. <laughs> It is sangria though, isn't it? I thought you'd have vodka in that at least. <laughs> Come on! He's not a proper South African. So I reckon the accent is fake, Sarah. Yeah. Do you think we could ask no South name? African well, would drink sangria. What's your name? My name? My name is one? my name is Bond. Bond? Hello, Bond. <laughs> no. Yeah. V Vagabond. Vagabond. <laughs> no, in South Africa we say. A woman, she cries when she wants, and she smile and she laughs when she can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> is, that a, is, that, is that a reflection on South African men? She smiles when she can because you don't let her smile enough. Ah. What do you mean? Well, I don't know. You just said she smiles <laughs> when she can, so there's got to be a reason why she can't smile all the time. Yeah. To me, a woman should smile all the time. Oh, well, of course she does. She so should, yeah. South African woman <laughs> <who> smiles <laughs> when she can. Martin. That indicates there's something I, wrong. I don't smile all the time, and I'm married to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, that's true. That is true. I have to, I have to, I have to take that with good grace, don't I? Really. <laughs> so anyway, 